All right, I'm pulling apart the hydraulic control box for this Fordson Major, uh, part of the tractor I'm wrecking. Thought it'd be good to show some people all the parts and components uh, to control the three-point linkage raising and depressing on a Fordson Major. So, as you can see there, there's usually a cover plate that goes on. I've already taken this off and bagged it up with the bolts. A couple of O-rings. Now, if you're going to do anything with the hydraulic controls, I strongly suggest you go onto eBay and get the Spare X hydraulic control O-ring replacement kit. It was $42 Australian with free delivery. That way, you know, you're not going to have any unexpected leaks. So, seven bolts holding this control box onto the back top of the casing. Two of the long bolts go directly above and below in the middle. That's where you want your most strength. So I'm going to pull that off. As you can see, gasket's gone. Oil's that horrible milky colour. All right, so you've got your main hydraulic control cylinder, and this is what provides the raising and lifting power as part of the hydraulic system. So this normally sits in there flush, but I've already wiggered it out. So you can see here, here's our cylinder. You're looking there, not pleasant, but this side, you can see there's a little O-ring in there. This side is where the hydraulic oil goes and pushes, gives it that push. So we move that aside, that's very heavy duty. There's a little feeder pipe here, again, an O-ring on either end to be replaced. Now if you have a look in here, you'll see a kind of like a, a ball there on a on an arm and that's what goes inside the cylinder and provides that linkage to the lifting arms as part of sitting in the cylinder so the ball valve sits in there in that cup that's very rusty um, and as the hydraulic oil goes in here and, and provides the force and the push pushes that ball there on the end of that shaft and if you come around this side now you may wonder why on this back plate here there's such a bulge in it well when that cylinder fills with hydraulic oil and pushes that ball joint as you can see comes out that's why we need the bulge and there's another ball joint just in there you can see it's cast it holding and very simple but a lot of o-rings in there that can fail so like i said if you're going in here to do any work i suggest you replace all the o-rings with something that comes factory from Sparex. Hopefully that helps someone, but that's an overview of the three-point leakage hydraulic system and control box.